Hi everyone and welcome to Dling Labs. I'm doing my homeschool update. We are on week 18. We just finished it. Uh, so week 19 next week, 20 weeks of school left. I realised I hadn't been telling you what week we're on in any of my update videos, which was just silly. So I apologise. We are on week 19 next week. Um, everything has been going really well. This month we started our Aston Wonderland unit study. I'll put the link below if you're interested, which has been so fun. We've been loving it. We finished all about reading level 3 and are doing all about reading level 4. We've got a fun field trip planned next week. We're going to Warwick Castle. If you've ever been there before, if you're in the UK or if you're overseas, it's a fantastic, a great tourist attraction to visit if you are over here at some point. Um, it is perfect because we've been obviously studying castles in the Middle Ages, Story of the World Volume 2. So fun to actually go to visit one and bring all that learning to life, to tour around and everything. We have been before, we went last year. Um, and it was such a fun experience, although it rained the whole day, so I'm hoping it won't be as bad this week, or uh, well, next week, but it's that time of year, so <laughs> it's inevitable. But we always have afternoon tea in the little cafe there, which is so fun. I'm hoping we can get to see the night's jousting this year. We didn't get to see that last year because of said rain. It was horrendous. Um, they do offer a money uh, back guarantee if it's raining the whole time, which we did get, but we never actually ended up going back um, that time. So I'm hoping we can get to see that show this, at least this year. Um, it's going to be our number one priority. We did go to the top of the castle last time, which was so fun and a great experience. Um, if you're claustrophobic or you're afraid of heights, then that's something to consider. Um, I am neither of the two, although claustrophobia doesn't... It, I'm not claustrophobic, but I don't like tight, tight spaces. I, I wouldn't avoid them. But if I... Um, had the option I wouldn't necessarily pursue them um so at one point I did think hmm should we go back but I didn't express that and my daughter wasn't she was a little bit nervous but I didn't want to express my feelings too much because I didn't want that you know that to then make her feel that way so um we got to the top and she was fine and she loved it and it, the view was amazing from the top so it was definitely worth the track it is very very tight space though so something to consider um However, I would recommend it if you can, if you're up for it and you can do it, because uh, it was great to get to the top and experience all the life of um, the castle. And if you are a fan of um, the War of the Roses, then you get to see um, a little bit, well, some some designs and things around the windows of the um, Tudors and the Plantagenets, which is amazing to see because I love, love, love that part in history. It's fascinating. Uh, if you've ever read Philippa Gregory's series, so we've got the Red Queen, the White Queen and the White Princess. They are fantastic. It is heart historical fiction, so it is her take on it, but they're great books. Definitely recommend it. Um, so yes, I didn't obviously read that to my child. <laughs> that is an adult book re recommendation, not a child book recommendation. Um, just to clarify. So yes, um, it's a great experience. We also start in space. Um, are we starting in space next week? No, I think it's the week after. We've got one more week of fossils um, and then we're starting space next week. I'm so excited to start, start space. I'm done with fossils. Um, really looking forward to starting space. That's the biggest unit of this particular curriculum. It's uh, The rest of them were six weeks, I think. Yeah, there were, there'd been six week intervals and that was different than last year. Um, I think the shortest one she had last year was 10 weeks. It's elemental science I'm talking about. So it was, it was interesting to do the six weeks to see how it compares. Um, but I'm so, so excited to start space. Um, I've been thinking about curriculum for next year. Uh, I mentioned before in my first new episode of my little series, you know, how I plan for the school year, that um, I had made my list and, you know, I was going through everything. And um, that's still progressing. I hadn't actually purchased anything at that point, and I still haven't. I usually start my purchases around March, April time. Um, apart from the one year when it was when it was kindergarten, I think I'd had I had everything by April, but that was because we hadn't homeschooled before. Um, well, we had, but it wasn't you know official schooling. It was pre pre K and preschool and everything else. So I had been shopping before. So when we were in preschool, when we were in pre K four, I'd been stocking up ready for kindergarten. Where obviously once you start uh, school and everything else, you budget. Well, we do anyway which I'm going to talk about in another video actually that'll be part of the series how what we budget and everything not necessarily specific financials but you know how we budget and do we budget that kind of thing so um yes yeah, so I don't usually start making my purchases until March or April because I like to see how the curriculum's going I've had a full taster of it to see if it's something that is going to work for us 
to continue up the levels with or if it's something that for whatever reason developmentally um, we need to switch. So that is where I'm at with those. I think I've made pretty much most of my, my decisions. There's just spelling. I've got a choice of three, which I'll talk about in an upcoming video as well. I've already made it. I just need to edit and post it. I've been really enjoying it ever more. Um, I talk about it more in the review video, flip through video that I made. Um, yeah, we're really enjoying it. And it's definitely a contender for third grade. But I, as with it, all the curriculum, I like to do my own review of everything. And is it going to work? Because I like to stick with curriculum. So I like to find something that I'm going to know is going to work for several years and I'm not saying that I won't it may well do and it may well be my choice but I've also been looking at two other things which I'll talk about more in that spelling curriculum video um upcoming so yes uh, I'm trying to think of anything else we'll be we we will be going to an observatory which is so exciting for space um and then we've got another couple of other trips planned I really like going on field trips because I think it really brings learning to life it's something to, to focus on and look forward to um when you're you know learning about different things but reading a book about it oh we're gonna go and see that in this whatever day um i just think it, it makes it really exciting makes brings learning to life anything else to update uh i can't believe how fast this year is going i don't mean 2020 i mean the school year week 18 week 19 it just seems to fly by i seem to say that every year you know at first you look at calendar and you think oh it's week four and then you look again it's like oh it's week 10 <laughs> and you know the time just flies by um so yes, that's what we're up to. I don't think there's anything else to update on. If you've got any questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you. Um, I'm really looking forward to everyone starting to share their curriculum videos because I love watching those. Um, it's something I really enjoy doing is watching curriculum videos and seeing what other people have picked um, and how they're you know, piecing their homeschool together for that year. And yeah, that's everything. I will see you in our next video. Bye for now.